Hey everybody, it's Amanda from the St. Louis Science Center with an experiment you cannot try at home. But nevertheless, I wanted to show this to you. I was talking with a family when I was at the Webster Groves Summer Opportunities Fair, and we were talking about different science experiments, and I told them about this one, and they thought it sounded really cool, but they'd never seen it, so I told them I would put it up on our blog so they could see what it looks like. So what we're going to do is a very surprising rapid oxidation experiment. Okay, so what I have in my test tube actually is some sodium chlorate. That might sound similar to sodium chloride. It's uh, similar, but it's got oxygens attached. And when heated, sodium chlorate uh, decomposes and that allows a sufficient amount of oxygen to be in there to react with sugars. And I have a gummy bear here, and Mr. Gummy Bear is very high in sugar. And since we're inside, I am going to take mm, half of this gummy bear. I'll eat the other half. And we're going to put it in my uh, melted sodium chlorate, my molten chlorate. And what we should see is that oxygen attack the sugars in this gummy bear really quickly, create... Uh, a release of heat so much so that the sodium chlorate continues to decompose and continues to produce an exothermic reaction. All right, so that uh that happened pretty fast. You can see how much heat, how much energy is released when oxygen gets to attack sugars and other various simple carbohydrates. Um, you can look for this new experiment in a show we are working on. Check back on our amazing science demonstrations list to see it's a blast. Uh, we don't have the show ready in rotation yet, but Hopefully very, very soon we'll be ready to bring this and other fire experiments to your school.